I'm going to make, and the only reason you're viewing this is because it worked, um, sardine potato pancake. And there's a canned sardines, which they were packed in oil. So I drained them well for about 20 minutes. And in here, I'm putting everything that's wet. And I'm going to mash that up with the scallions. Then look at it. Take the uh, potatoes or the potato. Then I'm going to shred the potato. without slicing my fingers I have a mandolin but I didn't feel like taking it out of the closet anyway I'm gonna put all the potato in there mash it up add a little flour and then cook it so everything's in there except the flour to help bind it and I'm gonna mash this this will take a few minutes I think you could see a little brown around there, there. Time to turn. I haven't touched these. Now let's look. Okay, nice golden brown. And they're holding together. That means that one simple egg and a little... I use semolina flour today. Only because I like the flavor. And now this will take another few minutes. And they will be done. And I just realized why the, more, the, uh, the mix is a little moist. Guess what kind of potato I was using. It's like the ones over here. Those are Yukon potatoes that I'm making for dinner. Anyway. They're a very moist potato. And if you use the Idaho, <clears throat> you'd have a, a much drier mix. Nice to know. That was another, what, three, four minutes. So you can just turn them over, take a look. Nice. Of course, you're going to want this side up. And I would say that this, these three pieces, you know, if you're having, oh, this is an appetizer. Now, how are you going to eat it? But you can't serve this as a potato dish uh, on, a, on a meal because it has fish in it. So, what goes with this? Well, what goes with a potato latka? Sour cream, applesauce. I wouldn't put applesauce with this unless you love it. Sour cream, it'll work. So you put a dollop of sour cream in the middle, and then you go sit down and you eat this just like I'm going to do right now. Hope you enjoy it.